was the year 1993. I was 19 and living a carefree life full of fun, partying, dating and having a blast. And suddenly I received a call that my father had passed away. I was in a state of shock and my whole world came crashing down. I felt lost, confused and lonely. I felt numb with grief, fear and anxiety. The next three years went by in a daze and I slipped into depression. I had no direction or purpose. Alcohol became the easy solution. From a casual drinker, I became a compulsive drinker. My body soon reacted to my unhealthy habits and suppressed emotions in form of a disease. In the year 1996, I was detected with chest tuberculosis and this was the last straw for me and I completely broke down. I felt like I had hit rock bottom. I realized that I could not continue living like this anymore. I needed help. And it just so happened that the next day I met a spiritual master and he saw me taking my TB medication and asked me why I was taking so many pills. I told him that this was the only way I knew how to heal myself. He then told me something very profound which turned my life around. He said, Son, your TB is like a fire alarm and the real fire is your suppressed emotions and grief that you have bottled up inside of you. Your medication is only going to stop the fire alarm. But what about the fire? How are you going to put that out? He went on to explain how I needed to address the root cause and sort out my core issues with the help of meditation instead of superficially trying to cure myself with medication. His words made sense to me and I was keen to explore this new path. The first time I meditated with him, I felt a deep sense of peace, calm and relaxation, a feeling I had forgotten in the last three years. He told me that if I regularly meditated for 40 days, I could heal myself without any medication. Since my first experience of meditation was so profound, I took on the challenge to heal myself without medicines. He also gave me two books, one on the power of the subconscious mind and the one on creative visualization. Over the next 40 days, I meditated daily and practiced the techniques outlined in the two books. These practices completely changed my belief system and made me realize how powerful our subconscious mind is. I was due for a checkup a few weeks later and I was surprised to see that my TB had completely gone. No medication, just meditation. When the doctor told me that the TB had completely gone, I was in tears. But this time, there were tears of joy, gratitude and humility. This was the turning point in my life. Suddenly, I realized my own inner power to heal myself. These spiritual practices not only healed me physically, but also healed me emotionally. I felt calmer, happier and more confident. I could sleep better, focus better and live a more conscious life. My biggest learning from this experience was that it all starts inside of me and when I'm in a right emotional state, life just flows effortlessly and things work out for my highest good. When I took over my family business in 1997, it was a non-operational factory in huge debt and the morale of my employees was at an all-time low. But this setback didn't deter me. In fact, it inspired me to apply all the tools and techniques that I had been practicing so far only in my personal life into my professional life too. With a regular practice of meditation, mindfulness and creative visualization, I transformed my business from a loss-making enterprise to a multi-million dollar thriving business. In a span of next two decades, I grew my business 2500x. I worked hard, yes, but more importantly, I worked smart. I mastered the art of manifesting from a higher dimension. Friends, these experiences and successes that I manifested changed my life completely. I learned to see every challenge and every setback as an opportunity to grow. Hi, I'm Shreyans Daga and I'm honored 
to have the opportunity to share my knowledge and wisdom with you. I spent two decades learning from my personal and entrepreneurial successes and failures, but you don't need to. Over the course of just 40 minutes, I'm going to show three powerful techniques to help you live your life by design and not by default. I believe we create our own reality. I believe true success is an inside job. Let's come together to consciously co-create the life of our dreams. Let's start with a topic that every human being in this world finds interesting. Secrets. More specifically, let's talk about the secret. So how many of you have read the book or seen the movie The Secret? I'm sure a lot of us have. So we are familiar with the phrase, the law of attraction, right? But what is this law really? And if it is a law, then why doesn't it always work? Why are we not able to attract things into our life in spite of thinking positive? Why doesn't our life look as appealing as our vision board? What is the missing link? We have all had these questions at some point in our lives. 20 years back, I had them too. And it's these same very questions that propelled me into a lifelong journey of learning, researching, evolving and growing. Over the next two decades, I sought out spiritual masters from all over the world and learned under them. And deep dived into researching quantum physics, neuroscience, brain waves, and epigenetics. As my knowledge grew, my inspiration to put into practice everything I learned also grew. I dedicated the next 20 years to master the art and science of manifestation and understand the real secret behind the secret. And today, I'm delighted to share this secret with you. We, as human beings, have 60 to 70,000 thoughts a day. And do you know that 95% of them come from our past? So we think the same thoughts, make the same choices, take the same actions and create the same experiences, which leads us to feel the same emotions day in and day out. We are basically living a life in default mode. Our life is in autopilot mode. We as personalities memorize our emotional reactions and literally live in the past. And over a period of time, a personality creates a personal reality. Scientific research shows that 95% of who we are by the age of 35 is a set of same memorized thoughts, feelings, behaviors, habits and actions that have become hardwired in our brains. Our most practiced thoughts become our beliefs. And over a period of time, our beliefs drive our behaviors. So first we make our habits and then our habits make us. And that is why our life is not changing. And what we are not changing, we are choosing. Our mind is divided into two parts. 5% of the mind is conscious mind, which is the thinking, creative brain and represents our free will. 95% of the mind is the subconscious mind which is represented by our old hardwired patterns, beliefs and feelings which are stored in our body. Our body is a memory bank of all the past emotions. Thoughts are the language of the brain and feelings are the language of the body. We all think that we have a free will but it is 5% of the conscious mind fighting against 95% of the subconscious mind. We all want to think positive but we are feeling negative. We all want to think abundance, but you are feeling lack. We all want to think good health, but we are feeling broken, we are feeling hurt. And the reason why we are not able to manifest things in our life is because our thoughts are not accompanied by the corresponding emotions. And the way the law of attraction works is, our thoughts carry an electric charge and feelings carry a magnetic charge. Our thoughts send the signal out and it's our feelings which draw the event back. So how we think electrically and feel magnetically, we broadcast an electromagnetic signature into the quantum field 
And that's how we draw the event back into our life. The highest level of creativity consists in being and not doing. As entrepreneurs, we are always used to doing things. We like to be in control of everything, but life doesn't always work that way. Sometimes life throws up challenges which are beyond our comprehension. And that's when we lose our momentum and feelings of insecurity, doubt and confusion creep in. We start operating from a state of fear and anxiety and are unable to think clearly and productively. And when we react from this poor emotional state, we are in a fight or flight mode and we hit the panic button. We tend to think that solution lies in doing more and we struggle to do, do and do. And this is where we fall into a vicious trap. As we tend to think equal to our emotional state, we land up making wrong choices or decisions and invite more trouble into our life. We don't realize that the problem cannot be solved from the same level of mind or consciousness that created it. We have to work at changing our emotional state in order to change our outer circumstances. So my suggestion is, rather than focus on doing what you're doing, first focus on your state of being. When you combine your focus on your state of being, while you're doing what you're doing, you can create magic in your life. What you feel about is what you bring about. And that's why we are called human beings. Human is about doing, it's about form. But being is formless. It's about our vibration, our energy. As an entrepreneur, if we can become conscious of this, it will give us an edge. Money EQ is more important than money IQ. Most of the stupid mistakes are made by intelligent people as they are emotionally imbalanced. More money should give us freedom of choice and freedom of time, but instead we become an emotional addict. Our feelings become the means of our thinking and we only work to accommodate our addictive patterns. Our internal state determines our external circumstances. We suffer not because of the situation, but because of our thoughts around it. When we are faced with challenges, we tend to think more of what is troubling us. Instead, let's focus on what we want and withdraw our attention from what we do not want. By focusing on what's missing in our life, we invite more of that reality. What we focus on expands. Wherever our attention goes, our energy flows. Energy is the currency of the universe and with our attention, we buy that experience. And that's why energy management is way more important than time management. How we do what we do is more important than what we do. Quality is more important than quantity. I'm often asked, Freyans, whenever I'm faced with a challenge, I can't help but feel negative and I get caught up into a vicious cycle of negativity. How do I come out of it? Friends, by cultivating a regular practice of meditation, breath work, manifestation and mindfulness, we can transform our state of being. Every morning, if we start from the right state of being and then focus on doing what we're doing, not only will we manifest what we want, but will manifest with effortless ease and will be more creative, more productive, more efficient and will draw in synchronicities and serendipities in our life. We'll automatically attract the right people in our lives and show up at the right place at the right time. It's like flowing with the current rather than fighting against it. As entrepreneurs, we are so focused on physical manifestation that we fail to realize that our vibration always precedes manifestation. If we can learn how to emotionally manifest, then physical manifestation will follow. It's a law. When we are faced with challenges in our business, our real challenge is to maintain a healthy emotional state throughout it all. It is okay to be stressed, but it is not okay to stay stressed. Even if you have lost money, as long as you don't lose yourself emotionally, nothing is really lost. True richness is emotional richness. Wealth is an emotion. If you can maintain that right emotional state, 
independent of the current environment, then the environment and circumstances will change. Rather than living a life of cause and effect, we would be causing an effect. Rather than the current condition determining our emotional state, if we can learn how to transform the emotion, then the current condition will automatically transform and our life will flow effortlessly in alignment with our desired reality. Know that life is not happening to you. Life is happening from you. Seven point nine billion people on this planet, and they are all chasing one common thing. What is it? Happiness. Friends, everything we do in our life is for an emotional payoff. If I do this, then I'll be happy. If I earn X amount of money, then I'll be happy. If I own this car, then I'll be happy. If I marry this person, then I'll be happy. we depend on the outside to give us the happiness inside meditation is a powerful tool to experience the same happiness without depending on the outside condition we can get the same emotional payoff through meditation by changing our emotional state meditation changes our emotional state and as we discussed earlier our emotional state is the seat of creation everything we create is determined by our emotional state and feeling a state produces that state by meditating we empty our mind drop our identity and lose our personality self and let go of resistance we shift to a state of acceptance and allowance within us there is a stillness and a sanctuary where we can enter and retreat into any time meditation is a key to unlock the inner treasure of pure love joy and happiness meditation helps us disconnect from the outer world and connect to our inner source and our inner source is the ultimate resource our ever ready resource as we tune into our inner self we become more intuitive and as we transcend our emotions we become much more productive joyful energetic and confident regardless of what life throws at us in this sublime elevated state we can consciously choose to live from higher self and effortlessly manifest the life of our dreams the most common question that i am asked is shreyans how do i meditate when i don't have the time to which i always say you have no gas in your car and you are saying you have no time to fill the gas how is that going to work being an entrepreneur from a very young age i can relate to having a no time predicament i too used to work long hours and fill up all my waking hours with work work and more work but friends let me tell you another secret meditation is a time saving device time spent in meditation is like sharpening the axe sharpening the axe saves you the extra time and effort you put in working with a blunt axe once you start meditating you will find you have much more free time not just for your work but also for your family and friends for your hobbies and most importantly for yourself and i say this from years of personal experience have been explored various forms of meditation and spiritual practices we all work on our computers all day and now more than ever before have you noticed that when too many windows are simultaneously open on your computer it slows it down the same thing happens with our mind too many cluttered thoughts slows us down and make us sluggish and impact our ability to think clearly and make the right decisions meditation is like a reboot for our minds it takes us from clutter to clarity and clarity is being clear of what we want and clarity is power meditation is an investigation of our own self meditation makes us more aware of our unconscious patterns and the more conscious we become of our unconscious patterns the less unconscious will go during the course of the day 
the very act of awareness of these limited emotions helps us to lose its intensity. Awareness is the key agent for change. Research shows that 90% of our energy is consumed by old limiting emotions. As we see everything from the lens of our past emotions. Meditation helps us to unmemorize these emotions. And every time we unmemorize these emotions, we liberate so much of energy. And now the same energy is available to create a new future. Another question I'm often asked is, Shreyans, how do I meditate when I have so many thoughts running in my head all the time? Friends, like any new thing we learn in life, meditation is a technique that needs regular practice to see results. Cultivating a regular practice of meditation gives us clarity and insight, makes us more resilient and not only increases our EQ, but also our AQ, our adaptation quotient. Our adaptation energy is our ability to adapt to life's demand and challenges. We are then able to handle the punches of life much more elegantly without bringing lifetimes of trauma into every single setback. It makes our journey of life much more fulfilling and purpose-driven. It transcends our survival-based emotions into creative emotions, our fear-based emotions into love-based emotions. And we draw more situations corresponding to these elevated emotions. It raises our vibrational frequency and then whatever we are doing, we do it better. We become more productive, more efficient and achieve much more in much less time. Meditation optimizes our performance levels and enhances our inner motivation. That is our motive for action. And then efforts are not required efforts are inspired. Friends, the return on time spent in meditation is phenomenal. 5% of your time invested in meditation can enrich the quality of 95% of your time. It's okay to be stressed, but it's not okay to stay stressed. And meditation is a discipline to eradicate this backlog of accumulated stress. Our mind unconsciously loves problems because it gives us an identity of sorts. Worry pretends to be necessary but serves no useful purpose. So either we can be a host to our future or hostage to our past. Meditation is not just for meditation. Meditation, if done correctly, it is meant to make a life better. Meditation helps us step into the state of void or unknown and unknown is the field of infinite possibilities. It is from this state that we draw synchronicities and serendipities into our life. Meditation enables us to draw things into our life with effortless ease and strengthens our emotional quotient. And change of emotions is a change of destiny. Everything is a miracle until it becomes a technology. So let's demystify the technology of manifestation. Creative visualization, if practiced correctly, is a powerful technology to manifest with effortless ease. Einstein said, the field is the sole governing agency of matter. Everything that we see as matter is 99.99% .99 energy, frequency and information and it all comes from the same field. Everything we want to manifest in our life already exists in the quantum field, in the vortex. All we need to do is to raise our vibrational frequency to align and tune into it. And visualization is one very important step in this process. Our subconscious mind is like a fertile land. We reap what we sow. Visualization is a tool to cognitive prime our brain and impregnate our goals into the subconscious mind. It's like rewiring the software code. Our mind does not know the difference whether we are imagining the experience or actually living the experience. Even when we imagine, our body produces the same chemical 
as if it has already happened. No wonder Einstein said, true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. What makes human beings unique is our ability to imagine. However, our impulse to dream has slowly been beaten down by our experiences of life. Our only limitation is our imagination. The best use of imagination is creativity and the worst use of imagination is anxiety. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. We often struggle, work hard and burn out ourselves in order to manifest a desire. Having drive and ambition is a great thing. But what is greater is working smart instead of working hard. Meditation combined with visualization makes this shift possible. Meditation helps us to slip into a subconscious mind that is from beta to alpha state and in this state, whatever intention we sow with our thoughts and feelings, we manifest in our life through the process of visualization, surrender and gratitude. If we can see it in our mind and feel it in our heart, we'll hold it in our hand. That's how thoughts become things. We use our imagination to picture our desired reality and see it in a present tense as if it has already happened. It should be good, honest, pure and positive. Here we visualize what we want and not what we do not want. The trick is not just to visualize but also to emotionalize. When you are thinking, you are in an asking mode but only when you are feeling, you are in a receiving mode. How would you feel if your dreams have already manifested? Give your body the taste of that future. You have to teach your body emotionally what your future is going to feel like even before it manifests. Treat yourself as if you already are what you would like to become. Do not just think of the desire. Think from the desire. Give it all the colors and tones of reality. Imagine yourself as surrounded by conditions you want to produce. As imaginal acts become facts. Feeling a state produces that state. Move away from superstition and move into super intention. Your intention has an organizing power. Intention organizes its own fulfillment. Understand that we don't make things happen. We just hold the vibration that allow things to happen. We don't have to wait for an experience in order to shift an emotion. Instead, by shifting an emotion, we magnetize that experience into our life. And by doing this regularly, we create the life we want. When things change inside us, things change around us. Another important thing to remember is to vividly imagine what we want and not how we want. Surrender the how to the greater mind. The universe has multiple ways and knows best how to bring it to us. So let's not meddle with the details and force the outcome. Because when we do, the magic stops. Let's allow ourselves to be surprised by the higher mind. Magic is always surprise and wonderment. Logic does not produce magic. So trust and surrender. Now the final step in the manifestation process is gratitude. A grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. The universe tends to give us more of what we are thankful for. Let's express gratitude as if our desires have already been manifested. Acknowledging the good that you already have in your life is the foundation for all abundance. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. Gratitude is the ultimate state of receivership. Let's summarize our journey together. As you can see, this is a pyramid. The way we normally live a life is in a three-dimensional world of time and space. 
which is represented by the bottom of the pyramid. Here, since the time and space is more, it requires a lot of hard work and struggle to get things done. And that's why people just burn out. Our survival genes are always switched on and we are always in a state of fear and anxiety reacting from flight and fight mode. We operate from survival based emotions such as anger, guilt, shame, victimization etc. When we meditate, we raise our vibration and move into a state of love, surrender, appreciation, gratitude, freedom, oneness etc. Now we are able to create from higher dimension. That's how we move up the pyramid. And when we move upwards, time and space collapses. Here, we are governed by past, present and future, which is linear. And here, past, present and future exist in the same moment. And that's why we are able to manifest faster. So the journey is not horizontal. The journey is vertical. We move from somebody to nobody to everybody. From something to nothing to everything. At the bottom of the pyramid, we are more matter, less energy. That's why it takes long time for matter to change matter, for a program to change a program, for our ego to change our ego, for our brain to change brain. And as we move up, we are more energy, less matter. As Einstein said, the field is the sole governing agency of matter. So here we can create from that quantum field where we use the power of our thoughts and emotions to create our reality. Here, we are less likely to compete and rush and we are able to manifest things with effortless ease. And that's why we are able to achieve much more in less time. And that's why this is smart work, while the bottom is hard work. I am reminded of a quote by Lao Tzu, I do nothing and leave nothing undone. All the mystics knew the secret techniques of creating from higher dimension and now you do too. So it's a choice. What level of game you want to play? Kindergarten, high school, graduate or doctorate? If you do not follow law of attraction, you will make money. But if you follow the law, you will mint money. Poor people work for money. Rich people let the money work for them. Abundance is not something we acquire. It is something we tune into. Give wings to your dreams by feeling it. Don't downgrade your dreams to meet your reality. But upgrade your faith to match your destiny. Make your life a living masterpiece. Be remarkable. Manifestation is a continuous process of creation and today is the day you take charge of your life. Today is the day you become the creator of your destiny. Today is the day you surrender to the unknown and embrace the best version of yourself. The pleasure of manifestation is in the awareness of the process of creation. The pleasure you derive in the process of becoming. Manifestation is a journey. You can be, do and have anything you want. You came here on this planet to awaken the wisdom and potential of your soul. You came as creator, not reactor. Don't wait for things to get better. Life will always be complicated. Learn to be happy right now. Otherwise, you will run out of time. Your experience of life is not determined by how your life plan unfolds, but rather how you respond to that plan. Responsibility means your ability to respond. Like Neville Goddard said, mastery of self-control of your thoughts and feelings is your highest achievement. For the past two decades, I have had the privilege to follow my passion to spread the message of meditation throughout the world. It always gives me a deep sense of satisfaction to share my learnings and experiences with my very own EO and YPO community. Two years back, when the pandemic hit, 
one of my YPO forum members was in a state of anxiety and panic, not knowing what to do about his loss-making hotel business. He could not figure a way out of the situation. And due to the stress, his family life was also affected. I introduced him to meditation and soon after his life started to change for the better. His business took off. A few months back, he called to tell me that not only did he successfully turn around his existing business, but he is now doing so well that he is building another hotel. And just before he hung up, he added, Shreyans, if I only knew these techniques, these manifestation techniques 20 years back, I would not have had to struggle so much to get back in the game after every setback. Millions of people around the world have transformed their dreams into reality with the correct practice of meditation, mindfulness and manifestation. If they can do it, so can you. The right time to do the right thing is now. If you can adopt these practices, it will help you excel in all areas of your life, whether it is business, family or personal, be it health, wealth or relationships. The benefits of meditation are truly experienced by practicing it. Knowledge without experience is philosophy. Experience without knowledge is ignorance. Only when you combine knowledge with experience, it is true wisdom. And this is the time in history where it is not enough to know, but to know how and become it. Friends, now that you have the knowledge, I would urge you to truly experience the ease and joy of effortlessly manifesting your dream life by doing this meditation. Manifestation, the five steps of creation, specially curated for you. I encourage you to take this journey within. I promise you it would be your best journey by far. Meditation is the best thing you can gift yourself. It is the highest act of self-love. Meditation improves your health at all levels, mentally, physically, emotionally and spiritually and teaches you how to be fully present in the now. And the side effect is you show up smiling every single day. You can enjoy life with your loved ones fully, completely and totally when you show up in every moment fully, totally and completely. It is possible to have it all. It does not have to be either this or that, a great family or a flourishing business, a healthy lifestyle or a healthy balance sheet. You don't need to choose. You deserve to have it all. And why not? Picture a day where your children are jumping with joy at seeing you attend all the school functions and sports meets. Picture a day where you have hit the finish line of a 42 kilometers full marathon and your family and colleagues are passionately cheering for you. Picture a day where your forum buddy comes and eagerly asks you, how do you manage to always keep your brilliant work-life balance? I wish I could do it too. Friends, I acknowledge you for working hard and striving to give your best to your family and your business. Now, it is time to give your best to yourself. You are your best coach. You deserve unconditional happiness in your personal life. You deserve unparalleled success in your professional life. You deserve it all, effortlessly, easily, and through a path of least resistance. The path is laid out for you. The door is open. And I invite you to take the first step. Thank you for the gift of your attention. It's truly been my honor and privilege to be with you.